Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin, I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. Let me give you my disclaimer. The statements in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. This video is for research purposes only. Now let's get on to the important stuff. I got a testimonial here. Um, this is actually about kidneys and healing the kidneys. And I have two interesting testimonials about this because this email touches on multiple parts of a testimonial. So I'm only going to read the part about the kidneys and then I'm going to share with you some interesting data in regards to that. So basically, this particular woman just wrote me and I won't go over the whole email. It's quite long. There was just one specific tidbit where she put, my husband is interested in trying, they actually are writing to me about anti-parasitic protocols. Interestingly enough, hydrogen, there is data that I found that it does lower parasitic count. So that's kind of interesting. But she just said, you know, they're interested in doing that. However, she is pregnant. She is nursing. I'm going to go into a different testimonial in regards to that. There's just one particular part here that she wrote. She did say, look, we got the hydro fix back in 2020. And, and they've been, they were filtering originally with an Alexa Pure. This is all the things that she wrote. She did eventually upgrade to a carbon distiller, which is better. I, I, Alexa Pures I like more for like emergency purposes or a backup. And then ultimately she said, just as a side note, she wants to tell me some of the testimony part. She said, here are some improvements that we have seen since drinking the hydrogen water. My husband's doctor uh, noticed improvements on his kidney numbers. So guys, this is interesting to me because doctors tell us that there is no way to reverse, for example, kidney disease or improve ultimately the kidneys. I have a brother. Unfortunately, it's a sad story because we don't talk a lot and he recently messaged me. This was, I say recently, it was months ago, less than a year, but it's been months ago. And he was just about to get on dialysis. Super, super close, uh, a really bad stage four. So right about to get on dialysis and he freaked out. You know, he was super scared, contacted me right away. He's like, dude, is this something that we can heal? And immediately I was on it. Like everybody, I always help everybody. And so I immediately was like, dude, we got to get you the carbon distiller. We got to get you the right minerals. We got to get you the hydro fix. We got to do all these things. And he followed my protocol practically to the T. And what happened? His kidneys, they started to reverse and they started to get better. He reversed to a really good stage three. He's actually borderline to stage two. It's clearly healing. And of course, doctors are always shocked about that because they always say it's impossible. And so, and I've seen kidneys get better. And so obviously hydrogen is really remarkable for that, but you really want to follow the proper protocol because I don't like to get bad news, but beware of, I say beware of Brown's gas with lie. This is my opinion because there've been now multiple people who are drinking that water, inhaling the gas doesn't seem to be as bad. I mean, it's, in my opinion, toxic, but the water's worse. Why is the water worse? Well, I'm already seeing testimonies. People contact me. It's affecting the kidneys in a very negative way. To me, that's just because the light clearly comes through. You're literally drinking in water. What do you think is going to happen to the kidneys, guys? And I shared a story before about a woman who ultimately was hospitalized because of something like that. So I always say be cautious with such things. Uh, you, you can do Brown's gas if you want, just in my opinion, don't use lye. You don't have to use lye to make Brown's gas. Though the data, and I go off a lot of the scientific data, is clear that the hydrogen is what's really better. And that's what ultimately the data is showing. So that's why I follow that. And that's what's medically approved in Japan. And a lot of people think that, you know, Brown's gas is a new thing. It's not a new thing. It's just, you're just electrolyzing water and separating oxygen, hydrogen, but there's all these other gases. So anyway, beyond that, I just wanted to share this particular testimonial, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel, by the way. Don't forget to share, subscribe. There's a lot of people out there who don't know about hydrogen, and they certainly don't know that the potential things that it could do for kidneys. And there's a lot of people who are suffering from kidneys, even if kidney disease, even if you're going to get like a kidney transplant, there's really good data. I would totally be on hydrogen uh, without a shadow of a doubt, but I would always try to heal my own, my own kidneys first. That's what I would personally do. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.